Good morning students, I'm Dr. Safa Khaled, Associate Professor of Hematology and BMT at UT University. Today we will have an important topic which is myeloproliferative knee plan. In order to understand myeloproliferative neoplasms, we have to revise the normal physiology of hemopoiesis. So first, what are sites of hemopoiesis throughout stages of development? During fetal life, hemopoiesis occurs in yolk sac, liver, and spleen. During pediatric life, in axial and apendicular skeleton. During adult life, occurs in axial skeleton only. Now what are stem cells? Stem cells are primitive self-replicate cells that differentiate and become specialized progenitor cells which form mature blood cells. This process is regulated by growth factors such as interleukins, erythropoietin, thrombopoietin, granulocyte colony stimulating factor. The normal architecture of bone marrow is 50% hematopoietic tissue and 50% fat. Now if the bone marrow is overacting, it is hyperplastic. If it is underacting, it is hypoplastic bone marrow. Events in normal hemopoiesis, stem cells divide into myeloid stem cells and lymphoid stem cells. Just remember that all the blood cells arise from myeloid stem cells except for lymphocytes. This figure showed normal hematopoiesis. As you see, the pluripotential stem cells gives two stem cells, which is myeloid stem cells and lymphoid stem cells. All blood cells originate from the myeloid stem cell except for lymphoid. Now, another thing you, you need to know is the normal adult reference range of a CBC or complete blood. This is a blood picture. We need you to discover the abnormality in this. Now, what's chronic myeloproliferative disorders? You see the history of chronic myeloproliferative disorders. In 1951, William Damischek noticed uncontrolled trilineage myeloproliferation in a group of hematological disorders. He named them chronic myeloproliferative disorders. Then in 1960, the Philadelphia chromosome was discovered in chronic myeloid leukemia. The JAK2 mutation was described in bcr able negative myeloproliferative disorders in 2005. In 2008, the WHO renamed the chronic myeloproliferative disorders as myeloproliferative neoblasts owing to their colonial nature. So, what are myeloproliferative neoplasms? Myeloproliferative neoplasms are colonal disorders originating in multipotential hematopoietic progenitor cells. They are characterized by overproliferation of one or more of myeloid lineage-derived cells that is independent from cytokines with relatively normal differentiation. Just notice that all the physiology which we tell before was reversed in myeloproliferative neoplasms. Now what are common features of myeloproliferative neoplasms? They are acquired hematopoietic stem cell disorders characterized by overproduction of one or more of formed elements of the blood. They could be complicated by bone marrow expansion an extramedullary hematopoiesis that takes place in liver and the spleen could be complicated by myelofibrosis or transformation to acute leukemia. The other thing is the transition between different phenotypes of myeloproliferative neoplasms could occur. They harbor cytogenetic abnormalities and they could have thrombotic or hemorrhagic damage. Now, WHO classification of myeloproliferative neoplasms. The WHO classify myeloproliferative neoplasms into classical myeloproliferative neoplasms, atypical myeloproliferative neoplasms. The classical myeloproliferative neoplasm were subdivided into Philadelphia positive, including chronic myeloid leukemia, Philadelphia negative, including polycythemia vera, essential thrombocytemia, and primary myelofibrosis. 
The atypical myelo proliferative neoplasms, including chronic neutrophilic leukemia, chronic eosinophilic leukemia, hyper eosinophilic syndrome, chronic myelomonocytic leukemia, systemic mastocytosis, and chronic myelo proliferative neoplasms unclassifiable. In 2016, the systemic mastocytosis is no longer considered a myeloproliferative. What's the pathophysiology of the chronic myeloproliferative neoplasm? In BCR able positive chronic myeloid leukemia, reciprocal translocation between long arms of chromosome 9 and 22 occurs. The genus kinase 2 cal reticuline and myeloproliferative leukemia virus mutations were detected in BCR able negative myeloproliferative neoplasms. However, Nearly 10 to 15 percent of primary myelofibrosis and essential thrombocytemia cases, their mutational analysis is triple negative. This figure shows the PCR able gene in Philadelphia positive myeloproliferative and figure 3 showed percentage of patients with mutation in PCR able negative myeloproliferative neoplasms. And finally, this is my references if you need more reading. Thanks for listening.